Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. I am your host, Anon Jr., and, uh, <laughs> sorry, got so many monitors that I'm trying to check on here. Um, ooh, I just realized that, that, that I probably should have waited a little bit longer on that. So let's start this over again and say hello, welcome to Games Revisited. We are nearing the final, the home stretch. We're on the third act of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, the old game from 2003. And we are at the planet that the star that that the star forge orbits around, I guess. Um, dealing with some engine failure and other fun. And we we met the two different tribes that are covering the area, got a sense of the conflict. And basically, we're at a point where each one is pretty much setting us up to wipe out the other one. One of these two is going to be the light side, and I think it's going to be to, to support the elders, based on the way a lot of the conversations and all that went. But uh, we're going to go try to talk to the original guys, see if we can negotiate a piece. Maybe there is a way to do this. Either way, I want to say that there was an elder that we needed to rescue. Yes, there was an elder that we needed to rescue in order to um, prove that we are not, in fact, Darth Revan anymore. And we are now, I guess, would it be Jedi Revan? Uh, <laughs> we, we are no longer Darth. We are now Light. And all that good fun stuff. So... All the intros and other whatnot out of the way. Let's go ahead and load this game. Hopefully we can finish the island today. I don't think we're going to get into the Star Forge. But we uh, we might be able to. All right. Uh, because I finished here on the ship. He really does want me to try to fix the Evan Hawk. And I'm tempted to do it just to make sure that it's done and completed. However, I don't know if that's going to uh, trigger anything that I don't want to trigger. Uh, it shouldn't because we still haven't gotten to the temple. We still haven't shut down the field that keeps stuff stuck here. Um, so we'll see. But what I do know is I definitely need I need a couple of Jedis uh, or at least one Jedi and I know we're going to be getting oh ooh. Juhani is going to be better in the village but I think Jolie is going to be better once we get into the temple because one of the elders made it sound like there might be some droids and whatnot in there so i'm tempted to just take both of them and call it done get a party of jedi and have have that but i'd kind of like some ranged support like maybe even bring in hk um because he does have a bunch of uh stunner type stuff and it is nice to have a nice big brute around um, I want to say I was toting around Candors for a little while there, the last go around. So let's, uh, you know, since it's probably going to be most helpful for the tribal stuff, let's grab both of my Jedi, and um, and then we'll go from there. That's right. And since I haven't taken Jolie out in a while, he needs to level. I meant to do this in between uh, last week and this week. And as you can tell, it didn't happen. Uh, it's been a busy month-ish. Um, all right. Do I even want to bother? No. Let's bump his treat injury with his one skill point. And four feet. Let's see. What feet trees does he really need to, to wrap up and finish off? Um, he's gone all the way down the duelist, so, which is why we've only got him with a single saber, the master sense, the force focus, yeah, uh, Jedi defense, that would be a good one to cap off, because that's going to move his blaster bolt deflection from plus three to plus six. 
which would be nice. Uh, the weapons focus lightsaber would also be nice. <laughs> Just because that extra plus one to attack is good. Getting him an upgrade on the implants would be helpful. If I could have... I would have retrained out that conditioning, though. Uh, and it looks like, yeah, he doesn't have any of the flurries or power attacks or any of that. I'm actually kind of surprised about that. Uh, I thought we had done at least one of those with him by now. Although he came to us pretty high level by the time we got him. So let's, um, let's, let's do the capstone on this Master Jedi defense. Because that's going to come in handy. And four powers. Um, hmm. He's got the shield and armor. We might want to cap off the valor. He's got both stun lines already set and done, which is good. He's got the force wave, which is also nice. And the throw saber, which is good. Um... We can't really give him Dominate Mind because that's only the main character that can do that. Yeah, let's do that Master Valor and uh, bump up the the bonus. That brings the uh, increase in physical attributes and saving throws of the Jedi and all party members by five. And also grants immunity to poison. Ooh, that is also nice. Yes, please. Let's add that. Okay. Except. Sweet. Like a new man. So they're at 18. I am at 20. Hopefully we can get them to close the gap on that one. Alright. So. We gotta make our way up to the settlement that has the uh, rather warlike tribe. Who seem to really like Darth Revan. Um, I guess it's kind of obvious, all things considered. I am wondering if, uh, I shouldn't have gotten used to the lower defense rating from the, uh, robes and gum with the powers earlier on. There are days that that seems like that might have been the better part of Valor. Because it enabled Force Valor, and all the restricted by armor type powers... But, uh, this is way too late in the game to do that. Uh-oh. Cutscene. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. We have seen you, Interloper. You are a servant of the Elders. By order of the One, you must die. Dun-dun-dun. Oh. Like, there's not even an option. Okay. That's how you want to do this? Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. Uh, let's do that. Let's get a shield up. And then we'll flurry the ever living snot out of you. Let's get a grenade off in the distance. We'll get the force armor and the valor. Uh, these guys are not force users, so we don't need to worry about the force immunity. Uh, doesn't look like we gotta worry about energy stuff either, because they're just all swords and such. So we'll get the heal ready. And we'll jump in with a wave. Alright, um... Yeah, let's toss a grenade that way. Armor, speed, valor, energy... Okay, yeah. Since Jolie's got all that other stuff handy, we'll get her to go ahead and jump in like that, and jump in like that, and bam. Okay. This is not working out so well. Hmm. 
Sorry, my mouse keeps wandering off, uh, off kilter. What did she get her red blood? Oh, oh, that's right, the heart of the whatever. <laughs> Interesting. I wasn't expecting that fight. Alright, I guess we better uh, prepare for some more fighting. So let's go ahead and save the game now. That way, uh, if by some weird chance this goes sideways. This is episode 24. Okay. Did it, yeah, okay, good. Just double checking my... Uh, my stream monitor. Okay. Uh, I'm probably not going to waste the, the f fields anymore either. Um, okay, no, that's just straight up damage reduction. This has, yeah, this only has two uses left. So I'm going to save that for when we get to the Star Forge. Oh. Get a, yeah, sure, why not? Bump that strength. Yeah, okay. Okay, just double checking. Everybody's still got some shields left. Everybody's still got some... Some, some shields. Somebody... Everybody's got some shields left. We saved. Everybody's equipped stuff. And... Well, oh, we should have done that in the other... The other order. Hi guys. Alright, um let's go ahead and force wave you two and deal with that. Let's get her to force wave you and do that. And let's get you and run that stasis field and then buff everybody up with, uh, we don't need energy resistance, we don't need force immunity, we do need some valor, and some armor, and then we'll start, yeah, swinging, bam, yes. Wow. Well, okay then. So that happened. These should be empty because we already looted them, but uh. Never hurts to double check. You never know. Could have missed them the first time. I mean, essential equipment. We are preserving essential equipment. Yeah, we'll go with that. Alright, uh. And these guys are actually keeping up with me, so let's go ahead, jump in, do the wave. And start a swinging. Let's get her to not be able to target any of them. Let's get him to not be able to target any of them. Yes! So. go with overmatched. As in, we are overmatching them. Kind of wish they do something nice, though. <laughs> yes. Pwned. Alright, uh... 
Ooh, which one of these rooms was the one that had... Oh, that's probably the one that has the big leader. So we'll get to them in a second. Let's uh, take care of these fools. Bam. I'll let the rest do their thing. Because that's been working out pretty well so far. <laughs> Just got to keep an eye on the uh, force bar to make sure that uh, I still have force points to play with. Alright. And then... Uh, Ooh, some med packs. See, this is why you double check. And some drugs and spikes. <laughs> that sounded kind of wrong. It is kind of wrong. Alright. What other baskets are around? Do you have a care basket for me? Do you have a care basket for me? Uh, do I want to run around and check the other stuff before going into that final area? Yes. Just in case uh, clearing out that last little bit means we end up skipping the rest of the compound, we're going to go ahead and kill them all and loot everything. In a light side sort of way. Yeah. We'll get that. I mean, they started it. I was going to come in here and talk peace. But, uh, they had to they started it. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Die already. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> They're dying before I can target the next one. I love it. What we got in here? Just some baskets. Alright, that doesn't have anything, so let's go check you. You have loot. No, you've already been looted. We got a few pre-looted baskets. Guys, you're killing me. Closer though. So we'll do the wave. Alright. Yeah, I, I. I don't know. Are we over leveled? We're certainly under-provisioned. These baskets really should have replenished. <laughs> yeah, no. Get me. What you got? Oh, we have loot. No, that's not. Come on. Walk over to the basket. There we go. The empty basket. That's everything over there. I guess we're headed off into the next area. All right, well, I, I really, I really, really did intend to have a diplomatic solution to this. And I guess I'm using a different sort of diplomacy today. Yeah. I, I just want it on the record. Again, they started it. I was going to come in here and talk peace. But no, they had to go. You're working with the other guys. You deserve to die. I mean, they saw how easily the other patrols died, so, uh. What, what outcome did they expect? Alright. Let's do the wave. Yeah. Which one of those was throwing their saber? Like, is that so you can get at least one cut in before they're all dead? Do they know that this is a little too easy? Like... Yeah. Oh, he's actually surviving. Oh, never mind. 
Not a one of these fools was carrying something on. What were you doing in the corner? Just like... Oh, please don't turn right. Please don't turn right. Oh, yeah. That's the only way. <laughs> I mean... What are you doing? Just standing there in the corner like that. Maybe, maybe he won't notice me. Maybe he won't see. <laughs> Alright. Come on, guys. Here we go. Who's the next contestant? Gone. 50 XP apiece. I wonder. Who's got how long? <laughs> Another 10,000 XP for the next level. Mm. Another 10,000 XP for the next level. Yeah, I don't. Um, I, I don't think this is going to do that. Not at 50 XP a pop. The Black Ricotta shall never. I, I missed it. Oh, he's going to pull out the little beasties. Oh, isn't that cute? Come on, let's play with the rankers. Alright, um... You know what? How do I want to do this? I want somebody on the one immediately. So... I'll do the force wave. He... That's not force resistance, that's energy resistance. Never mind. Flurry away. Flurry away. And... Alright, the rankers really are the ones that I, somebody's going to have to deal with. So... We'll get Jahani on this guy here. Do the wave. Do... Night Valor. Armor. Hmm, never mind. Uh, yeah, let's do it like that. Like that. And you, good sir, try to hit this guy with a stun. And get the force armor going, the master valor, and force immunity. All right, everybody got their plan? Ready, set. <laughs> Come on, old man. Are you kidding me? About to die that quick? Heal. Uh, shield. Heal. And yeah, you're starting in on these guys. Yeah, let's uh, make a better use of those powers there. And start with a stasis field and then power attacks. Okay. Yes. A journal entry? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Slew the one. Oh, <laughs> I didn't hit all those waves, but okay. Oops. <laughs> well then. All his force points. There we go. We're all fully healed. Let's uh let's see what loot we can grab. And in the remains we have an advanced med pack, a concussion grenade, and two cheap swords. Okay. You know what we got in the baskets then. Or yeah, okay. These are probably gonna be empty because I definitely looted these the first time through. Yeah, you know, we'll go ahead and say that actually, uh, which one had the dude? And one of these had, there we go, 
The Elder Warrior. <laughs> you, you have saved me from the savages and their war beasts. Alright, what do they do to you? Why do they capture you? You're the only surviving prisoner. Who are you? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Yeah, let's lead in with the direct. I was sent by the council to save you. I don't know what I could have done if you had not come. Stand there until I came. I suppose I would be dead now like the others they captured with me. Thank you for saving me. I shall attempt to return to the enclave on my own. I will tell the council of what you have done. Don't worry. There's nobody else around. I promise you. Journal entry added. XP received. Wait. Wouldn't that have put them pretty good? Ah, I got about halfway. Alright, um... Just for kicks, because I don't think I've really been keeping up on these. I do need to talk to Jolie again, because it seems like there's some other stuff to learn from him. Uh, you, Okay, you've rescued a Rakata being held prisoner by the one. Now that he's been saved, it's likely his tribe, the Elders, will help you find a way off this world. You should go speak to them in their enclave near the Temple of the Ancients. Yeah, it looks like uh, we finally wound down a lot of these quests. Although some of these... It, hmm. Okay. Right, let's, uh, while we're at a minor lull, let's go ahead and save the game. I do not want to crash to ruin that progress. I mean, it, it was so hard to to slay all those fools. <laughs> okay, I guess we got a long walk over to the other settlement. Uh, <laughs> man, th this is where I, I'd normally be talking about uh, the latest uh, Star Wars news that I've picked up and things that have been going on and that sort of thing. But, um, all my spare time on the weekends when I'd normally be doing a lot of that stuff has been spent helping my mother move. She got a new job in a new city and there's about <laughs> a little bit better of 20 years accumulated stuff in the current house. We are trying to help thin that out and manage a few other things while we're at it. So, I, I, I didn't have time to double check and see who needed to be leveled up, who could level up, and that sort of thing. I didn't get a chance to, uh... What else was I going to do? There's something else I was going to do. Yeah, I guess... Oh, yeah, and to catch up on some of the videos. I'm, like, behind on everybody that I normally keep tabs on. That's not a podcast I can listen to while I'm at work. I try the YouTube videos from time to time at work, and on just the way things are, uh, it's not always conducive. A, because video absolutely kills my already dying battery. Like, ever since I, I upgraded, my, upgraded my phone to Android 10, my battery life has been absolute garbage. And, uh... That still looks like a banner flapping in the breeze. I know that's not what they intended it, but um, yeah. There's a special effect that didn't age well. Uh, but yeah, anyway, since upgrading my phone to Android 10, my battery life has been garbage, so trying to do any kind of video when you're not sitting next to a plug is a recipe for a dead phone before a couple hours are up. And uh, yeah, I, I'm not. I don't always have the opportunity to, to do like that. If I can, and if I got enough stuff over by my workstation, yeah, I will absolutely. Oh! Hello, random young yanker. Let's, uh... Mm. <laughs> it's just the one of you, right? That is what I said I Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. We're not done yet. <laughs> 
Just whack him with the sword. The other stuff he seems to be immune to. Oh. I should do, uh, okay. Now that everybody's at full health. And we are now at the settlement. Where these yahoos should be able to help us out. Well, you know what? I don't want to do all that walking. I know I saved it already, but I saved it all the way back there. Alright. Let's, uh, let's see what they get. You guys going to load us into a conversation? Revan, you're back. Our scout has told us of how you rescued him. His injuries are severe, but we believe he will survive. We are grateful for what you have done. Like, the monetary kind of grateful for what I've done? <laughs> okay. Uh, so now will you help me, or I've done my part, and now you have to honor our agreement. Hmm... So let me ask the nice way instead of going, dude, contract. Risking your own life to save our scout seems to prove that you have changed significantly since the last time you are here, Revan. But you have deceived us before. Seriously, dude. We're going through this. We must discuss this in greater detail. We must have some privacy. We will return when our deliberations are done. Cut scene. Uh, right? Yep. And deliberations are... Three, two, one. <laughs> Almost had that perfect. So close. So close. Alright. Which one of you is from the Ministry of Silly Walks, by the way? Okay, Revan, you have rescued a member of our tribe from the one at great personal risk to yourself. Eh, not so great a risk, but okay. We believe this action shows you have truly changed since your last visit here. Slaughtering a tribe. Okay. The council has decided that we will trust you once more. For many generations, we have sought a way to enter the temple and discover the means to destroy the Starforge. But only those who can command the force, those like you, can enter the Temple of the Ancients. We no longer have that power. That was why we helped you the last time you were here. Go ahead, keep rubbing it But you cannot enter the Temple with our help. Right. Only the ancient rituals of our people can lower the shield for you to enter. You need us as much as we need you. Looks like... <laughs> gee, should I choose option one, option one, or option one? Hmm. Looks like we'll be working together then. For our own sake, and that of the entire galaxy, we hope you truly mean to atone for your past evils. When you are ready, Revan, we will take you to the temple. Alright. Let's do this. But the temple is a place of sacred power. If you are to enter, you must do so alone in the tradition followed by our Rakata ancestors for the past thousand generations. Uh... Yeah, I, I have two people that I really like to tag along. Yeah, the person on my left and right. Alright, uh, why do I have to go on a walk? We believe you truly wish to destroy the Star Forge this time, but the lesson of the past is not easily forgotten. We will not defile the sacred ritual a second time. Only you alone may enter. Mm. I do not want to acquiesce into going into the temple alone. So, can we pitch a fit and maybe make it happen? Let's try it. Alright, forget it. I'll find my own way into the temple. You have the power to enter the temple itself, but you cannot lower the energy shields around it. Only the Rakata can invoke the ritual chant with the proper intonation. Uh, 
I'll find some other way to enter the temple. You can try to enter the temple without our help, but you will fail. When you are ready to see reason, return to us and we can begin the ritual. Alright, um... Okay, I can't change the party selection here. Uh, I was really hoping to bring one of the droids along, but uh... Alright. You have returned. Are you ready to enter the temple now? Yes, but not alone. Alright, let's do it. Alright, the time has come for you to atone for your past crimes, Reverend, but the task ahead will be difficult. Those you call Dark Jedi, followers of your old apprentice, now dwell within the temple. Uh, how did they get in there? The last time you and Malik entered the temple, you must have found the controls to raise and lower the shields. Those inside can lower the barrier to allow other Force users to enter and exit the temple. Alright, maybe I do want just the two Jedi with me then. But they will not be able to prevent us from using the ritual to gain you access. Once inside, however, we can do nothing to help you. Go to the temple now. We will meet you there once the ritual has been prepared. Remember, in accordance with the ancient Rakata tradition, you must enter the temple alone. Yeah, okay. You know what? Fine. Let's, uh... Let's head to the temple and hope there's some way that we're gonna con our way in. Otherwise... We got an interesting bit ahead of us. Right, that's just speech. And are we gonna fight some more young rankers? We are gonna fight some more young rankers. All right, let's do the wave anyway. On the off chance it might work. Oh. That's what we did. Come on. There we go. There we go. Alright. And I'm pretty sure the force points will uh, replenish by the time we get to the temple. Yeah, look at that. Uh, hmm. Alright then. I really wasn't planning on doing the temple alone, but... That might not be an option. Although, surely the game wouldn't let you, force you to do that alone. There's got a way to fuss them, fussing them into getting a couple more people in. Alright. The ancient tradition state that you must enter the temple alone. I will not perform the ritual if there are others with you. Seriously? Right here. Come on. I speak with our guide. Which one's the guide? Elder. 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 Oh, elder guy. <laughs> okay. I'm in solo mode. Alright, fine. You know what? Guy. Okay. Oh, you must rejoin your party first. Alright, do you wish to turn solo mode off? Yes. Alright. Return. Ah. <sighs> There you guys. Back to the Ebon Hawk. I really wasn't looking forward to doing this solo, but uh that doesn't appear to be an option. 
I thought for sure there was going to be a way to not have to. Okay, alright. It is now just me. Save the game. Okay. Yeah, I could have sworn there was, Yeah, there... I had to have messed up that conversation somehow. I'm pretty sure there's a way to convince them to, uh, to let you do that with help. Oh well. Too late now. Let us sprint back to the temple. Take care of all the different side questicles and other things. Alright, you can clearly see it's just me. I will begin the ritual. It will take many hours, but when it is complete, you must be ready. The shields will not stay down for long. Prepare yourself. No, wait, someone is coming. Wait, I can't go in there alone. Uh, maybe this is how we get them to come along. All right, I have to go in there alone. We this have is tradition. A, a premonition. The force oh. has given us a vision. There is great danger within the temple. We cannot let you face it alone. You might be walking into a trap. Maybe Malik himself is waiting inside. Even if he isn't, that temple will be crawling with dark Jedi. You'll need all the help you can get. I do. No other can go with you into the temple. You must enter alone. That is the way of... The ancient ritual. Uh, all right, I'm not going alone after all. No, you must enter the temple alone. I don't know what he said, but it sounds like your guide's being stubborn. We don't have time for this. The Republic fleet is on the way, and we're yep. stuck on this planet until we deactivate that disruptor field. You have to convince him to get us inside that temple. All right. Uh, <laughs> lower that shield, or I'm going to cut you into little pieces. Nah. That, that after all that work to to show them that we've changed and we're better. All right. Let's try the persuade. Oh. I believe you. The elders have said you wish to destroy the Star Forge and end the terrible legacy of our ancestors. If you need help to do this, I will not stand in your way. I will resume the ritual thing. Okay. So that's how we get a party. Why do I get the feeling this is going to take a while? Still. Better stay ready. As soon as those shields go down, we have to get inside the temple. Elevar just says chanting for the subtitles. Okay. Sure, we'll go with that. Loading, please wait. Dramatic cutscene. Lord Malak, the preparations are nearly complete. Every day the Star Forge adds more ships to our fleet. It is operating at nearly 300% of our projections. The fleet is assembling around the Star Forge and awaits your instructions. Patience, Commander. My new apprentice is nearly ready. Once Bastula joins her battle meditation to our enormous fleet, we shall be invincible. Then we shall begin our final conquest of the Core Worlds, and the Republic will be crushed forever. As you wish, Lord Malak. Hm. Well, okay then. That's not ominous at all. Dun 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 dun. Okay, we are in the ominous temple. Let's uh, go ahead and save right there. Just in case. Okay. Everybody's equipped and ready to go. Massive door. Massive door is locked. Okay. Alright. Uh, 
Do we hear knocking? I'm knocking at my temple door. Close Darth Revan. Never more. No, wait, no. Alright, uh, let's do this. And go for that. Let's try for a stun. And definitely get... Not the energy resistance, the force immunity first. Then the armor. Then the valor. Here. We'll try to get everybody to throw their stuns at us. I was thinking that was going to be hard. Okay. And there's the stimulants he probably didn't have time to shoot up. Alright. And what's in the middle box? Come on. Open the box. Try this one first. What's in the Foot Locker? Med pack, frag grenades, and seven bucks. All right, I guess we're eating at Arby's. Um, well, isn't that weird? Okay, fine. The box that didn't want to be opened. And I see we got some other rooms back of that away, so... Oop. Patrol droids. Yeah, no loot for you. DM says... No. <laughs> Forget the survey. The DM said... Yet. As hard as, as that I, is what a Jedi can do. Okay. Actually, I don't know. These are droids. And I do have the destroy droid line, so let's go ahead and throw that, uh, that in there. And she should also have it, right? Oh, she's just got the wave in the throw. Bam. Now he's got the destroy line. Yeah, there we go. And get the valor. And the armor. What? <laughs> All that prep and play. Oh no, here he goes. Okay. Is this easy, dude? What game is that one? Alright, what's in this loot box? Sonic grenades, some parts, computer spikes. Alright, not bad. I'll take it. Uh, was there anything else in there? Nope. Okay. There I was, trying to fill in the corner of my map. I am a completionist, and there we go. Alright. It's a beautiful view. Not bad for a game of the time. Alright, uh... So far, every other room has had something behind it, so... Are you guys... you guys are in position? You guys are in position. Here we go. Yep, that's what I thought. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and hit this guy with a couple of destroy droids. And then... We'll do the wave, because the Sith will be there. And let's queue up a flare. That is what a Jedi can do. Take that! Come on, guys. 
Let me through. We're running into the problem if there's enough room around the guy to, you know, good and properly do him in. Alright, do I want to start him through this way? It looks like there's two ways into that room. So I think I will loop around the other way and pick up that as we go. Maybe not. Nah. Right. You guys are in place, right? No problem. Didn't no work. Problem. Skill too low. I have the alternate pick lock. <laughs> Still kind of all sorts of something about how uh, how it took multiple hits with a lightsaber to open a door. Come on, boom! Get wrecked. <laughs> okay, who left him on the sliver of health? Come on, fess up. Who couldn't just finish him off in one fell swoop? Before we start playing with the computer, let's see if that footlocker's got any spikes, and no. But it does have stuff I'll happily take. <laughs> Slice the computer. Zero spikes. Okay, that's my kind of price. Alright, North Security Computer Room. That's where we are. Okay, I'm not going to overload the computer system that I'm at. So, let's go to the South Computer Security Room. Alright. Yeah, let's overload. One less Sith to deal with. Alright, and the East Guard Post. Ooh. Okay. Let's go corrupt their targeting system. Failure. Uh, okay, let's try it again. Failure. Fine. Alright, what's in the West Guard post? Botch. Yeah, I know. My rules. Alright, there's a couple guys there. Can we do this one? Success. Okay. What else can we do? Ooh, armory interior. All right. I see armory type stuff. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Look, the interior of the armory is empty. I guess that is useful information. And exterior. Unlock the armory security door. Yes, please. I like armories. All right, that's the oh prototype droid command room. Okay. There's nothing in there. Is it worth blowing up for nothing in there? No, it's not worth blowing up for nothing in there. That. Oh, wait a second. Unless that has something to do with those two guys we saw in the East Guard post. Yes, let's download all the map. What is in the south corridor? Those two yahoos. Corrupt, deactivate. Do I want to keep burning through spikes though? Because we still have the, uh, the whatchamacallit too. You know what? Uh, these guys have been easy enough. Okay, you know what? We'll just go ahead and call it log out there. As much as I'd love the XP for playing with the computers, I yeah, I don't um uh, I don't want to waste the uh the spikes. Oh, no, our room's already in there. Cause we also have the Star Forge coming up too, and I have a funny feeling we're gonna need a fair number of spikes in there as well. Behind door number this. 
is a rusted droid. Okay. Now, repair parts, we probably won't need too many of, so let's go ahead and reactivate it. Let's optimize his weaponry and his targeting system and his shield. Put him in patrol mode. Bam. Done. Okay. Oh! That right there was enough uh, XP to get everybody leveled up. I'll take it. Alright, let's level up Joe Lee. Let's get the man some skills with his one skill point. <laughs> uh, I really want to bump awareness, but the treat injury is going to do him better. So let's go ahead and treat injury. All right. Okay. And, ooh, the powers. Um, hmm. All right. What other light side powers do we have? I mean, we got this burst of speed, but uh, movement is double. Oh, two defenses gained. That's the part that I was missing about that. I was like, uh, okay, so you, your movement is doubled. Ooh. All right. Slow is a dark side. Wound is a dark side. Fear is a dark side. Shock is a dark side. Um. Drain life is, well, obviously dark side. Force suppression is universal. That could be useful. Especially since we keep running up against little jedi <laughs> Uh This ability will cancel first and second tier force powers active on the target. Yeah, let's, let's do that. All right, except and Jahani also levels up. She has two skill points, so let's go ahead and get her awareness up. You know what? Her treat injury is about as good as Jolie's, and somebody's got to have a high awareness around here. Let's do that. And powers. All right. Um... Yeah. Do I want to get her to finish off Master Speed? Oh. Oh, I wish I had read this. Uh, I wish I had read this through. I'd have done this. I'd have gone through the speed line myself. Oh, restricted by armor. Never mind. That's why I didn't. That's why I didn't bother reading. Okay. I didn't realize that the uh, Master Speed not only increases your movement speed, which is what I thought the whole line was just about, but it also increases your defense by four and two attacks per round are gained. Yeah, if I had this to do over again, I, I would have gone ahead and given up the, uh, the armor armor and focused on the robes and just supplemented with these powers because I... I I'm wondering now if between force armor and speed if you could end up with as good or better an armor class uh, as using actual armor. On the other hand, you wouldn't have gotten the bonuses that come with the extra armor, like the bonus to strength and that sort of thing, uh, which is where something like the, uh, the Valor would come in, because that increases all the physical attributes, so that would give you the strength boost that you didn't get from, uh, from the armor. But again, now you're spending three rounds of combat trying to get yourself ready. Or you could wear armor. So, six and one, half dozen the other. Uh, although the extra, extra two attacks per round. Hmm. So if you are planning your own build through, I, I'm... Yeah, I'd definitely say uh, you might want to skip the armor like I did. Go with the robes. You'll be down AC for a little bit, but once you get these powers up and you really focus on these buffing powers, uh, you you could be you could be just fine. All right, now that we got everybody leveled up and all that, let's go ahead and save our progress. Okay. All right. So he's going to go on patrol. We are going to check all the boxes. No problem. Even though I'm pretty sure the Didn't skill's work. too low. Yeah. All right. Let me uh, 
cast open lock. Get some construction kits, some repair kit. Oh, good. I'll get those repair kits back in a universal computer interface, which I think I've already got. And in this box, we've got parts and computer spikes. Good. That'll get us back some of the spikes we used. Construction kit and repair kits. Okay. Uh, in this box, we've got sonic grenades, med packs, computer spikes. Definitely good for, you know, let's get the trying to unlock and let's uh, use our open box. It really take three hits to open a metal box. Okay. That gives us an energy shield. Oh, these are all droid parts. Um, man, now I'm kind of sad that I spent money on uh, heavy plating type 3. Because uh, I seem to be running into just about everything I spent money on. That, that's slightly frustrating. I mean, I guess the, I, I guess uh, the benefit was I got it earlier than I would have received it by finding it via loot. But on the other hand, it's kind of frustrating to find stuff like that via loot when you spent the money on it. And you know you're not going to get a return on the same price. Oh, looks like my patrol droid is uh, engaging somebody. Ooh, deadly mine. Let's try to disable that. Oh, good. And let's try to disable this one. Okay, good. Room covered pillar. Anything else in here? Alright, what's at the room covered pillar? A Sephith crystal. Okay. That's worth checking out once we find a workbench. Alright, through the doors. Let me let my crew catch up to me. Alright, good. And, oh. Who dares intrude on our meditation? Oh. You know the penalty <laughs> okay. for... Riven, you are back. You're back? <laughs> yes, the true Sith Lord has returned. Now bow before me. Uh, I am Revan. Malak no told us what happened to you. The Jedi Council has stripped you of your power. You are a shell of what you once were. <laughs> you are not fit to rule the Sith anymore, Revan. Darth Malak will reward us greatly for destroying you. Yeah, you can try that, but uh, I hate to break it to you. That's not worked out so well for everybody who's tried. I'm just saying. Let's see if we can get stun in. Force armor's already set. Let's get a valor going and a force immunity going and energy resistance. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> Light side points gained. I grow so bored with your thoughts. For the order! I migrated tenfold in hopes I would give you a chance to face your body combat. I am glad to see my training has not been in vain. Oh, it's been in vain. I promise you that. This seems like a good time to use a shield. Uh, and then start in with the flurries. Yeah. 
Jedi Master Robe, Unipari Crystal, Nerve Amplifier Belt, a Sith Energy Shield, another lightsaber, Sith Power Gauntlets. Ooh. Oh, oh, that is everybody healed up. So while we wait for the Force Points to uh, show the new items, now quarter staves that we pulled off of somebody. Battle wands that do. Uh, I'm trying to keep it family family friendly. <laughs> yeah, Woot Apash the starter kit. <laughs> yeah. All right, stun batons, tremor swords. Okay, the cheap vibro swords, a cheap lightsaber, some crystals. This was one of the ones that I've been looking for. I was wondering when we'd get to that Upari crystal. Alright. And... Blasters and grenades and other things. This has been a while since we looked at this. It's going to give us all sorts of... Oh! Dark Jedi Master Robes. Defense bonus 3... Death Power Gauntlets, Strength 3. Ooh. I wonder if there's a um, alignment restriction on them, though. Alright, immune to mind affecting. Okay. That might be worth actually uh, putting on a couple of people. Those are all the stimulants and things we've pulled out of the different... Uh, Deadly Plasma. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bars, droid blading. More droid stuff. I'll go and sell some of it, too, but I, at this point, <laughs> we're close enough to the end that I'm pretty sure it's not even... not even worth it. But... I've got plus two strength right now. The Sith Power Gauntlets will let me get a plus three. Problem is, I don't think that's going to be enough to matter. Uh, yeah, because my strength is an 18. Plus, and that's with a plus two. So a plus three is going to bring it up to 19, which is not enough to bring it from a plus four to a plus five. What about Jolie? Nope. He's not going to benefit. Jihani will. Because she's got a plus one right now. So, yeah, okay. There we go. Go from a plus one to a plus three. Okay. Uh, so reflex or immunity to mind affecting. I think we'll leave the rest of that as it is. Yeah. Yeah, we'll leave the rest of that as it is. But it's nice to have a... Oh. Gave me a nice Star Wars... Um... Oop. Whose remains are there? <laughs> what remains? 54 bucks, a shield, a lightsaber, and some more Dark Jedi robes. Okay. I, I appear to be getting quite the collection of those. Ooh, the armory. And there's a workstation here. Good, because I got that crystal. <laughs> All right, what's in the box? In the box are some life support packs and med packs, always useful. 
All right, we'll get to the workbench last. You know, for an armory, I don't see a lot of boxes, but okay. Some parts and adrenals and the clarity, and I'm not even going to try. Detonators and grenades. Grenades in all their flavors, at least five. I should probably use some more of those. Yeah, yeah I'm not even going to bother with the security on this one either. Let's just go and, uh, open that. Okay. Dis oh, two disruptor cannons and repeating blasters. Okay, I'll take them. And sniper rifles and assault guns. Wrong game for that, but okay. Come on. Use your... How, how do you miss a locker? It's right there. Oh no, the locker dodged. Like... Okay, all right, enough of that. Sith Energy Shield, Powered Battle Armor. Powered Light Battle Armor. You know, I'm gonna get mad if that Powered Battle Armor is what I'm wearing right now, and I spent money on that when I could have just picked it up as loot. Yeah, those tricky lockers. They got such a high dodge. I mean, <laughs> a Bothan Perception Visor. Energy shield, some sonic nullifiers, stealth generator, advanced stealth generator. Yeah, size bonus to Dex. <laughs> Unlike the doors. Yeah. Alright. Let's see. Uh, real quick before we get too far, let's see if any of the. Yeah, all they have are the red crystals. Okay. I'm not playing with those. What I do want to do is I want to change this one for this guy. Yeah, because that... That's a plus one to dex. But it's not enough to make a difference because we were just looking at that and, and with the plus one to dex that's a 17 so that's not enough to help so that's going to bring our blaster bolt deflection from a plus five to a plus eight and it's going to increase our attack by two and we're going to do still going to do some bonus energy damage it's 1d6 so it's going to be a little bit variable it's not going to be as good as a flat two well, on average, it should be, but you know, we know should we know how should goes. All right. Um, attack bonus, damage bonus. Ooh. So massive criticals, but yeah, no. Let, let's give them the better attack. What's this one do? Attack bonus one, bonus energy damage. All right, so I could sacrifice the energy damage for better blaster bolt deflection. Nah, we'll, we'll skip that. All right, and that's right. She's got the master of the guardian. Attack bonus three, attack bonus two. Nah, we'll leave that one the way it is. What about this one? Nah, we'll leave that one the way it is. But her other saver... That's just a straight attack bonus three. I increase blaster bolt deflection and damage at the expense of attack. Nah. I'd rather have the attack higher. Okay, this is where we get a better one. I'm giving up the master criticals for one less energy damage, but a plus five to blaster bolt defect deflection. 
Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Alright, um, sure. Alright, so I've got the heavy exoskeleton. And that is fully upgraded. And now that begs the question. Uh, so a defense of 34 down to 24. Uh, 25. Twenty-five. Although, the bonuses from the force powers probably probably bring that back up. Uh, the combat suit. Okay, powered light battle armor. Twenty-nine. No. And we can't do the powered battle armor because that is heavy armor. And it is not upgradable. All right. Good to know. So it looks like we've pretty much taken care of this north hallway. Let's go ahead and save what we got. I want to save over that one. Yes. Okay. Now we get to do just a little bit of backtracking. Oh, did I miss some remains? Well, let's see what remains. Poison Grenade, Energy Shield, Lightsaber, and Sith Power Gauntlets. And some robes. So that's what we got out of our Sith in the box. And those have already been looted, so now it's time to circle around to the other hallway. Alright, these are those prototype droids. Let's go ahead and try the destroy droid. Oh, no, not heal. I wanted to move up to energy resistance because that seems useful. And then the f furious flurries. Uh, let's try the force wave. Get the force armor. And let's get her up to the master speed. A power attack. Can I get him to swing just enough? Nope. Okay. What yes. you need? Yeah, we're spending what much too much time on uh, buffing stuff up. <laughs> And here I was worried that, that was going to be a difficult battle. That's uh, okay. That's good though. That that allows us to move quickly through this. All right, some life spore construction red crystals because we didn't have enough of those floating around, and five thousand credits for all that shopping we're going to do between now and the end. Right? Right? All right. Um. Alright, that goes down to the basement, I suspect. Let's finish this floor first, then we'll circle back around to go down to the basement. Uh, hmm. What do we have around this way? Oh! Hello, good sir. Have you heard the good news? And you can't target anybody, can you? Alright, let's try to get a... Done in there. Let's get the force immunity up there and the valor. Then we get the energy resistance. Yes. Bam. Hi. Oh. I must have been stunned. 
All right. And what remains in these remains? Two grenades. No, that's the container. Um, dude. Can I seriously not get to the container because Julie is standing there? I seriously cannot get to the container because Julie is standing there. Alright. Cool. What else we got? Cool. Med packs. You know, there's a part of me that thinks I should probably use those instead of the heal, but the, uh, the heal regenerates. Alright, do I want to get the... that hallway looking thing? Because that's the prototype droid command room. I wonder if I was meant to go the other way around and go uh, counterclockwise instead of clockwise. Oh well. Alright. Yeah, let me get that back hallway that's a dead end and then I'll get the rest of these. Hello. No. Oh. That. That was it. That was it. And what's behind this door? No problem. Oh. Didn't work. That's not the one I wanted. I wanted to use this lockpick. That skill's not too low. Computer. Alright. For zero spikes, I'll give it a shot. No, oh, that's all the stuff I've already done. Never mind. What we got? Oh. That works. Just spam the stun droid or destroy droid. It's got better range than my sword. Alright. So what is down? It's dead end. Oh. If you remember from last week, this is the spot that Bastila was being tortured at. Hmm. Well, okay. Now we know where Malik was relatively recently. I mean, we can't... Look. We know the only planet is this one, and we know the Star Forge is on our agenda for the next spot. Two plus two is not hard to add up. Have I opened this box? All right. I guess it doesn't want to let me open that box. And this goes... Oh, for four damage. Yes. I didn't think this thing had a minimum roll of four. Four to thirty. That's my range for damage. Four to thirty. No, that should be... 8 to 34. How did I do 4 damage with a damage roll that'll go between 8 and 34? <sighs> yeah, no, not lol. That, that's not funny. That's not... Okay, it is a little funny. <laughs> that, that was not what I was expecting, though. There we go, some parts and more computer spikes. We're almost back up to stock with what we want had before. Uh, that's right, this has already been looted. This brings us back out into the hallway I was trying to get to before. Oh. Okay. Hi. You guys are feeling nice all of a sudden? Oh, no, because we those are the ones that we messed with the targeting computer. Okay. 
Yeah, no, I know. I wanted to do that. And then that. And then those. And I'll let everybody else do their own thing. These guys have been kind of wrong. It's almost, I mean, wow. You got cut. Alright. Some drugs, some spikes, some parts. Ominous music. Frag grenade. Stamina. Strength. I should probably actually use some of these at some point. No, I'll save them for the big battle, right? And have 82 left over because that's the kind of player I am. I wouldn't want to waste them on an easy battle. Just ask my DM. I end up with all sorts of stuff that I could probably use more often than I do. Alright. I love that he's all passive and stuff, but uh... He needs to get out of the way. Bam. Bam. And I'll let the other guys do what they're gonna do because that's been working out very nicely so far. <laughs> I, I don't think he had a chance to even swing. But man, that almost feels unfair. I'm not mad about it. Don't hear what I'm not saying. I said it almost feels unfair. All right. Let us try our unlocked skill. Uh, I missed the door. How do you miss the door? The big, triple wide door. It is a miss. Uh. Oh, come on, man. Alright, what's in the box? Yeah, I know. If you find yourself in a fair fight, you did not prepare well enough. I mean, all things being equal, I don't think the game actually intended you to be level 20 by the time you got here. But, fine. Alright, I won't do anything with the computer. Or is that the computer I blew earlier? That might be. <laughs> yeah, door has a... <laughs> it's that size bunk... It's that size modifier. This door unlocked? No, this door is still, still, still sealed. All right, then I guess we just need to sprint down to the basement walkway and uh, and do things that way. Maybe, maybe I, maybe I should have gone ahead and taken care of the basement before running down there. But all right. that strong box? I'm pretty sure I did, but on the off chance I didn't. Okay, it's empty. Alright, before... Okay, that was weird. Alright, before I hit descend into the dungeon, let's save the game, because we haven't done that in a while, and I'd hate to lose progress. Especially given the hour. Looks like we're probably going to be able to just finish the temple. And then uh, start the Star Forge next week. Looking ahead, that definitely looks like that's going to be a two-week one. So, we're winding down to the last two weeks. And then I'm going to do a wrap-up episode after that. And, um, and then it's on to the next game. Oh, hello Mr. Guard Droid. <laughs> Deadly Fragmine. Please disable. Uh, oh. There was...
was somebody there. Alright. I'll let my other people handle that. Disable that. Didn't work. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, it better work. I would like to not disable it the other way. <laughs> Ooh, rune covered pillars. What do you have for me? Another saber crystal. Is there another workbench near here? Alright, uh, there's nothing that way, but there is a footlocker over here with a data pad. Okay. Uh, there's the lightsabers. We picked up some more red crystals because, you know, the three in the lightsabers we had weren't enough. Uh, Sabbath crystal. The guns. Lots and lots of guns. All the grenades. Yeah, I probably should use some of those. I mean, 35 concu concussion grenades? That, that could have actually... That could have sped this up even more. Alright, come on. Where, where's the data pad? There we go. <laughs> Novice Sith such as yourself cannot be trusted to remember even simple tasks, Acolyte. It is therefore prudent for your masters to explain themselves at length using very small words. The ancient sequencer on the lower levels can only be activated once all the sequencer tiles on the floor have been set to their active mode by walking on them in the correct pattern. To make all the tiles the same color, simply walk the tiles in the pattern of an H. Or if I was in one of the Commonwealth countries, a H. I trust there will not be another unfortunate incident like the last time. Thirty-five, really? Didn't helping your folks not teach? Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, adrenal, stamina, strength, hyper strength, and a clarity and stuff. Med packs and repair kits, oh my. Man, they, they do really load you up with the gear, and I, I, I guess that kind of makes sense. I mean, this is, uh, this is the last stop before you go to the forge itself. Alright, um, uh, ooh, boxing. And speaking of more stuff, 59 bucks. Very useful this late in the game. How much money is all that worth? Yeah, I know. Well, that that's just it. I mean, we're on the home stretch. We're we're at the end where you're not going to be spending money on buying gear because you're headed off to the Star Forge. Ooh. Okay. Let me go save the game. Because that data pad mentioned some unfortunate incidences, and I'd rather not have an unfortunate one before I finish. All right, let's go solo mode. Is that an H, right? Did that do it? Didn't work. Okay. Um. All right. That reset. Uh, let's try from this way. Active. It would be nice if you had better control over your people. Yes? No. <sighs> okay. That an H, right? Oh, 
because I keep walking on that stupid middle one the way I'm turning. Alright. And back that way. in the wrong direction. Oh. Please tell me you guys aren't gonna... Guys, seriously. I... I... We were in solo mode. for solo mode to stay on. Alright. Hmm. Come on. H, right? Where do we go down this way? And then back up that way. No. Alright, um... Uh, let's start the shindig this way then. Bloody hell. Doesn't help that you don't have fine control over the character. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Exactly. again. Only this time, let's walk completely off as we make our turns. There we go. Good, then I'll trigger it. Because, <laughs> uh. Is that computer the only thing in here? I say that like it's not enough, but. Alright. Maps filled in. This is all we got. This is all we got. Let's save the game. Okay. What you got? Welcome back, Riven. It has been some time since you last accessed my database. I was beginning to wonder if you had been terminated. Um... <laughs> I almost was, but I'm hard to kill. I'm not Riven anymore. You recognize me? Uh... 
So far, everything else has recognized me, so no, we're not going to go with that surprise. Let's just go with, I'm not revenue at all. An odd statement, though it does explain certain conflicting data being read by my sensory input system. I recognize your appearance from last visit, which is stored in my databanks. However, I am detecting some significant changes in your composition since your last visit. Not a nice way of saying that you, uh, light side? Or are you saying that I'm a little on the heavy side? Your neurological patterns exhibit subtle yet substantive alterations in both thought patterns and information processing. These changes have been noted and recorded in my database. I need some information. Due to my system's abilities to monitor and repair themselves, you'll find all the data within my archives has remained fully intact. Please choose the topic you wish information on. Uh, ooh, nice. Let's start with, let's get the genetic data. My storage banks contain significant quantities of information on the subject compiled through hundreds of years of research and study. Please wait while I load the information onto a data pad for your future reference. Processing. Alright. Sweet. Information transfer complete. Is there anything else you require? Um... All right, let's uh, let's get a little history. Tell me about the history of the Infinite Empire. At its peak, the Infinite Empire ruled over 500 planets and was comprised of 10 billion ricotta and over a trillion slaves. But the glory of the Infinite Empire was built on war and slaughter. It was inevitable it should collapse upon itself. Conflict among power-hungry warlords escalated into full civil war. Worlds were ravaged and millions of lives were lost. Sensing the weakness of their oppressors, the slaves rebelled and overthrew their masters. And then came the plague. <laughs> the plague? Its origins were unknown. Perhaps the creation of an enslaved species, perhaps a mutation of a natural virus. It killed only Ricotta, and it spread to every corner of the galaxy. Hmm. The infant empire crumbled into dust as the few Ricotta survivors fled back here to their home world. All evidence of their existence was destroyed by the species they once enslaved. Okay. But even hidden here on their secret home world, they were not safe. Millions died from the deadly plague, and many more died in the never-ending civil war. The history of the Rakata ended 20,000 years ago. Now they are nothing but a few scattered tribes descended from the priest and warrior castes, still waging our never-ending civil war. Okay. What else you got? Alright, um... What about the star maps? The star maps were built on conquered worlds as symbols of Rakatan dominance and glory. Each map showed the whole expanse of the infinite empire with the star forge at its center. Okay, that's why we needed all the maps to help triangulate. When the empire fell, the Rakata fled back here to their home world. They sabotaged the star maps so the enslaved species could not use them to discover the star forge or this planet. Okay, maybe that's why we needed all five of them. Uh, <laughs> they didn't do a very good job of destroying them. Let's go with, but I use the star maps to find this place. The star maps were created with the same technology as my own self-sufficient systems. Over the millennia, the maps have been slowly rebuilding and repairing themselves. The oh. people will find them again. As you informed me during your last visit to this world, the star maps are still in a damaged and incomplete state. It is not possible to locate the Star Forge using a single map. As we found out. However, the star maps have repaired themselves to the extent that it is possible to discover the Star Forge's location by combining bits of data from several star maps, as you did. Hence why we need to destroy the Forge. Alright, something else. Speaking of which, 
tell me about the Star Forge. The Star Forge was constructed during the apex of the Infinite Empire's power, a true technological marvel. It is an enormous space station that serves both as both factory and battle dreadnought. The Star Forge can mass produce immense fleets with a minimum of time and resources. In addition, the Star Forge also shares much of the same technology used in my own construction. Um, so are we going to be able to destroy it? In many ways, the Star Forge is like a living entity. It feeds, it hungers, it draws on the energy flowing through all living things. What you called the Force the last time you were here. Huh. This ability to feed and consume the living energy of the Force is the key to the Star Forge's power. But ultimately, it was also what led to the destruction of the Infinite Empire. Well, that's curious. What do you mean? The Rakata are by nature a cruel and savage species. The Star Forge fueled itself with the hatred inherent in its own creators, and in doing so it accentuated these traits within the Builders. In your terminology, the Star Forge is a tool of the dark side. It corrupts those who use it so that it can generate greater and greater amounts of negative energy to fuel itself which probably explains what happened to Malik and myself. The Builders thought they were strong enough to control this effect, but they were wrong. They became victims of their own creation, and eventually their hatred turned them against each other. Hmm. So the war destroyed the Infinite Empire, a lesson to remember. Only one who is immensely strong in mind and will can harness the power of the Star Forge without suffering a similar fate. Clearly not me. Alright, what else you got? Alright, so we asked about the Star Forge, the Star Maps, the Infinite Empire... Alright, how can I shut off the disruptor field around this planet? The disruptor field was constructed as the Star Forge's primary defense against enemy attacks, and can only be deactivated from the upper levels of the temple. Uh, can I get to the upper levels? My systems control the doors to the upper levels, allowing only those who are worthy of the Rakata legacy to pass. The last time you were here, Revan, I unsealed the doors for you. However, the subtle neurological changes I detected in you earlier likely caused a failure in the recognition systems that would have opened the doors for you. Okay. Hmm. I have updated my database to recognize the new configurations in your mind, Revan. The doors to the upper levels will once again open for you. Alright. And... Oh, never mind, he already answered how to get the upper levels of the temple, so... I'll be going now. As you wish, please return if you find yourself in need of information. Yada yada yada, journal entry, XP, items received. Oh, the data pad. Because we still gotta do that thing too. Alright, let's not hit the reset on the way. Alright. Wait, to the top of the temple. To the window, to the walls. No. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. Give me XP by now. Yeah. Alright, may maybe not quite that yada, yada, but, um. I, I would like to point out DMs everywhere. See? RP is a good source of experience as well. Fortunately, I have a DM who agrees with that. Yeah, so long as you make it worthwhile. Buttering up on stream helps too. <laughs> no, no, no. Cookies aren't on diet. Oh! Hello. Nearly destroyed Sith Sentry Droid. Spam! <laughs> that was. Wow. Okay. So the nearly dead sentry droid was all it was. Yeah. That that was 
anticlimactic. Like, we go through all this effort to open up the temple doors, to climb the summit of the temple, and we find a nearly dead droid. Like, that's your guardian? Alright, let's save it. Because it can't be that easy. We know it can't be that easy. Alright. Sorry, I'm listening to the music and I'm hearing kind of like a soft, subtle suggestion of the old Darth Vader stuff. Yeah, no, it couldn't be that easy. We know it can't. Alright, some drugs, med packs, repair kits. They keep giving me the repair kits like I'm going to have one of the droids with me. It's very clear from the way everything worked out that that wasn't going to happen. Unless I threatened to cut them to bits if they didn't. Alright, um... Yep, more of the same. I always get kind of worried when they start giving you med packs and things right before you walk through a door. I, I think I know why. Because there is Bastila, and she is in some dark Jedi robes. So this cannot be good. Revan, I knew you'd come for me. Malak thought you might be afraid to enter the temple again, but he doesn't know you like I do. Not anymore. Not since you've changed. Quickly. Bestilla, come with us. We have to escape before Malak arrives. Escape? Yeah, you I don't, don't think understand. that works anymore. I have sworn allegiance to Lord Malak and the Sith. I am no longer a pawn of the Jedi Council. No. Don't go over to the dark You say side. that as if the dark side is some terrible entity. The Jedi Council has brainwashed you like all the others. Like they once did with me. They oh. speak of the dark side as if it is something to be feared. But in reality, their only goal is to manipulate those who are strong in the Force. The fear of the dark side is a tool to maintain control. Why do you think the Jedi forbid you and Malak from joining the Mandalorian Wars? They knew you would realize your true potential and break free of their domination. Malak has shown me how the Jedi Council have been using me the same way they once tried to use you. They've been holding me back because they knew one day I would surpass them all. <laughs> Oh, I love how that's an option. It didn't take long to convert you, did it? I always knew you were weak. No, I don't believe it. How could you betray us? Now, let's go with it's not too late. You can still turn away. I resisted it first. I endured the Sith torments with the passionless serenity of a true Jedi, emptying my mind. But after a week of endless tortures, I finally saw it. It took a week. Malak forced me to acknowledge my anger and pain. He showed me the liberating power of these emotions. Mm -hmm. Then he made me see how the Jedi Council has denied me what is mine by right. The Jedi Council gladly used my battle meditation in their wars, but they still treated me like a child, like an inferior. They were jealous of my power, of what I could become. They wanted me to bow and call them master and follow their code and obey their every order. But all the while they were exploiting my battle meditation for their own use. <laughs> okay. If you've fallen under Malak's control, you must die. No. I am Riven, Dark Lord. Bow down to me. No. Don't be lured in by the lies. Lies? You were the one living a lie, Riven. The Jedi Council made you into something you were not. They programmed you to be their slave. You used to be Revan, Master of the Sith. But no longer. You were simply a pawn of the Jedi Council in the Republic they serve. Like I was. Until Malak freed me from their shackles. A pity the power you once had is so diluted in you. You could have been as strong as I am now. Stronger even. But that will never happen now. With the power of the Starforge, Malak will destroy the Republic and conquer the galaxy. And I will be the apprentice at his side. After I prove my worth by killing you. Okay. Uh, I guess this is what it's come down to. <sighs> so sad. Let's do that. Let's do that. Nope, nope, not two of them. That's one of the one. And we'll go there. Try a stun. I don't. Come on. No, no, not quite that much. Try a stun. Load up on. No, we already got the energy resistance. Get the Knight's Valor. And the speed. And the armor. And we'll have you try 
ist dann. We've already got the armor. We've already got the valor. Uh, force immunity. Sure. Okay. Yes. Okay. That was quick. You were stronger than I would have thought possible after what the Jedi Council did to you. Seems that Malak was wrong. The power of the dark side is not lost to you after all, Revan. Now you see the power of the true Dark Lord. Now, don't call me that. I'm not Revan. I draw my power from the light now. Let's try that. You can deny what you are, Revan, but you're only fooling yourself. I know the truth. I have seen the shadows inside your mind. Remember? I was there when you nearly died in the trap set by the Jedi Council. I used the Force to preserve your life, Revan. We are forever linked by my actions on that bridge. Uh, sure. That's how I know you'll come back to the light. Right? These are not your true feelings, Revan. You are speaking as a tool of the Jedi Council, as I once did. But now I see how the Jedi used us both. The Council tried to exploit the bond between us. They hoped I would draw out your memories to lead them to the Star Forge. <laughs> we were slaves to their will, like all who follow the Jedi Code. But in our shared oh, visions of the star maps, I also felt the so-called taint within you. I resisted it at first. Well, I tried to show. I embrace the power of the dark side. Your dark side. Uh... What are you saying? If I'm so powerful, then why do you serve another master? Now, let's go... Let's try learn from my mistakes. Mistakes? No, Revan. The only mistake you are making is the one you are making now. You deny yourself the power that is yours by right. Only now do I realize how strong you are. You deserve to be the true master of the Sith, not Malak. I see this now. Together we can destroy your old apprentice. <laughs> I've heard this Join pitch with before. me and reclaim your lost identity. I am not Revan anymore. Either way, it's going to be a memory thing, so... Your mind was too badly damaged to ever fully restore your memories, Revan. But your power, your strength of will, the essence of who and what you are, these things still remain. Once, long ago, you defied the <laughs> Jedi Council, freeing yourself from their control. You claimed your rightful mm. title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Together we can defeat yes, Malak and take back the corrupting back power yours. of the Sith printer. I mean the Starforge. <laughs> yes, together we can rule the galaxy. How do I know you won't betray me? Uh, no. Let, come on. Come to the light. Bestula, it is not too we late for you to be saved. The teachings of the Jedi can lead you from the dark side back into the light and the true understanding of the Force. You are beneath my contempt, Juhani. When you felt the power of the dark side, you fled to a cave like some cowering animal. You know nothing of the Force Ooh. or its true potential. Shots fired. But you, Revan, the power of the dark side is yours to command. You can use it to destroy Malak. With my help, you could rule over the entire galaxy. Uh, I don't trust you. I think I'll kill you. How do I know you won't betray me? Yeah, I know. <laughs> wow, catty. I, I, I guess it would, it would be a political correctness issue to call that a cat fight because we do have the Cathar there. Uh, yes, together we can rule the galaxy. No, 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 no. The Dark Lord Revan is dead. I am a servant of the light you now. You were a pathetic fool, Revan. Together we could have defeated Malak and ruled over an empire. But now, I will no. be at Lord Malak's side instead. You will be crushed with the Republic and all the fools who bow down to the Jedi Council. No one can stand against the power of the Star Forge and the Sith fleet. Um... So you're going to bravely run away? I think there's a video, so I'm going to switch over to the desktop. Come on, play the video. Oh, don't do this to me. Not now. I hear the music like the video is going to play. There we go. 
Yeah, if I had one complaint about this game, it's the it's the video switching and that. Uh, seriously, all, all the other in-game renders were rather nice. You, you could have just left it an in-game render. It was even in 2003, it wasn't that bad. Like you could you could have left it as it was. But all right, journal entry added, experience points received, 4K. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Late side points gained. Yeah. I have XP to my next level. None because I'm at the top level. However, these two are definitely closer to level 20. Running through a Star Forge with uh, three level 20 Jedi could definitely be useful. Like I was tempted to bring out Candorus or uh, HK or one of those guys, but um. If I got all these guys down to, or up to level 20, then, uh, yeah, I'll take the three level 20 Jedi. Because that is how you get stuff done. Frag grenade, sonic grenade, iron grenade. They sure are giving me a lot of grenades. I wonder if we're going to end up in a situation where that's going to be necessary. Parts, construction kit, grenades. And you get a grenade, and you get a grenade. <laughs> All right, shut down the planetary disruptor field. Uh, I guess I have to shut down the temple energy field. Okay. I was hoping to keep it still around, but, um... Uh, journal entry for this one? No, Bastila. I got the research, and yeah, okay. Then I guess it's time to beat feet, turn in that last little quest, and then uh, then fix the ship. And it's about time too. Good. All right. That one that one worked out time wise. Even better than I was. I was kind of worried there that this was going to be a little bit more than we could finish in uh, two hours. All right, so let's go find the elder who wanted the genetic research. Turn in that questicle. Then we will fast travel back to the ship. And, uh, and then sign off and call it from there. I'll probably also pull out all the different party members, see who's uh, going to level up uh, just by merely being around all our awesomeness. And <laughs> just just in case, even though I'm uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to use any of them. Oh, and I need to talk to Joe Lee and see if he's got other conversation paths he wants to go. But first. Let's go turn in the questicle and then get the ship fixed. Eventually. As soon as we finish trotting over to the uh, the temple here. I hear the high voltage. Alright, now I gotta remember where that guy was. He was all tucked away in a corner somewhere. Alright, there were the counselors. A bunch of elders. Is this the researcher? Yes, is there anything I can help you with? Uh, here we go. I have found data on the genetic structure of your species. You have? Thank you. Thank you, Reven. Stop calling me Reven. This data will aid us greatly in our research. I just hope it does good things. You've done our people a great service here, Robin, but your destiny lies elsewhere. Okay. And there's our XP. Alright, and that was the last of what we need to do here. So, is going to let us fast travel here? No. Okay. we got to exit the building first. Oh... Uh, Okay, no, 
that bit. I've got one monitor saying that uh, my live stream was offline, and another saying that it was online. So hopefully it's still live. If not, uh, the recording will be... The okay, it's on. Good. <laughs> I was getting kind of worried there. I was like, oh, man. Return to the oven. Oh. That function is not available this time. You've got to walk the long way. Because... Yeah. <laughs> it's time for some CrossFit. You did sword swinging, door bashing. Now it's time for some running. <laughs> Although I seem to recall the Jedi fitness routine uh, usually required a green guy to hang off your back as you ran through an obstacle course. Yeah, this is where force speed comes in, indeed. Maybe, maybe that would have been a better, uh, better deal than I thought. Can, can I fast travel? Can I, can I get the mouse onto the right monitor? All right, come on. Turned. <sighs> Are you kidding? Fine. I walk the long way. I'll plod along at a glacial pace. There's no point in fast traveling because this is the place that... Or trying again because this is the place that drops you off. Oh, that's right, because there's... I, I, I bet I know what's going on. I bet everybody's going to be standing outside the Ebon Hook. And there's going to be another dramatic conversation. Where we have to mention that Bastila has turned to the dark side. Or at least a little bit. Oh, here we go. Because that seems to be the way the game operates. You're back. Why does he walk that Where's fast? Where's Bastila? Is she alive? What happened inside that temple? That's a lot of questions there, dude. Slow down. No time. Bastila's dead. Mala killed her. Wow. You can just straight up lie like that? No. Uh, Bastila has fallen to the dark side. She fled to the Starforge. The dark side? Bastila? No! No! How could that happen? She was always in danger of being seduced by the dark side, Karth. Bastila was strong, but she was always impatient and headstrong. Malak preyed upon her weakness. This planet is a tainted place. The Starforge and the Temple have twisted the Force into an instrument of evil, just as Malak has twisted Bastila into a servant of the Sith. Bastila has lost, an, uh, lost to us now. She deserves to die. Nope. Malak corrupted Bastila because she was weak. I can't help but feel this is partly my fault. Now let's jump into the... She can still be saved, Malak right? Malak has a strong hold on Bastila now. It would be difficult for her to break free of his influence, especially considering her long association with you. Remember wait, wait, the wait, bond wait. that was forged between you when she rekindled the spark that was your life. Through that bond, she touched your memories also the echo of the dark taint within you. But there's still hope for her, right? I mean, Revan rejected the dark side, so Basila could too, mm -hmm. right? We still might be able we to We just gotta her. wipe her mind and start her from level one. Oh wait, I don't see that as an option here. Too late for her. Just accept it. <laughs> it took the whole Jedi Council and a mind wipe to save me. What chance does she have? Well, if the Jedi Council in question were the guys that we met on Dantooine, then it is the D team, so we should be okay. Right. We can try. And we will. I don't know what the fate awaits us, but I sense Bestilla still has a role to play in the events to come. Of course. I have no doubt they haven't killed her off completely yet. The Star Forge. No doubt. But let's go then before she has time to organize a bigger welcoming committee. Yeah, about that. All right. Um. Is everybody going to be standing around? Yeah, everybody's going to be standing around here. Just for kicks. Let's see if Julie's going to open up any other conversation Got options. On your mind, dude? All right, do you want to talk about the Not warning? particularly. No I suppose like you're going to nag me until I cough it up, aren't you? Yep. Nothing is I private am. anymore, it looks like. <sighs> There's no escaping it, I guess. So be it. My wife's name was Nayama. 
She was the Yukatis enforcer who shot me out of the sky, if mm. you remember. <laughs> what does your wife have to do with the war? My wife had plenty to do with the war. Upon meeting her, I knew right away that she was strong in the force. Oh. That's why she was able to shoot me down. Niyama was a marvel of a woman. Fiery, determined, smart. She dragged me to the capital and foiled three of my attempts to escape prison. Oh, and that body. <laughs> um, the war? Well, yes, that. Needless to say, I eventually won her over. That was after I kidnapped her upon being broken out of the Yukata's prison, mind you. But, uh, that's another story entirely. At any rate, I wanted to train her in the Jedi way. The Council refused my request, naturally. I was still a Padawan at the time. I was an experienced Padawan, surely, but not yet ready to be a full Jedi, and certainly not ready to train another, especially not one so old as my wife. Uh, <laughs> so you're saying you were an idiot. He disobeyed the council like I did. And what did she think of all this? Hmm. Let's go with, so what did she think of all this? Niyama was intrigued by the idea of becoming a Jedi. She liked the idea of power too much, perhaps, but I certainly didn't see that at the time. I believed in her and trained her in secret. I ignored her willful nature. I loved her too much to see fault in her. And she loved me too. I know she did. At the time, our love was a shared bliss. Better than anything I had known before or since. So what happened? Exar Kun is what happened. Niyama was inspired by Exar's promises of a new golden age. She wanted to join him. She came to me, pleading with me to throw aside what she called the decrepit trappings of the Jedi. <laughs> to join her in Exar's war. So you killed her, of course. What did you do? Uh, so she fell? I hadn't thought so. Not right then. I was too proud to believe that of her. I had trained her myself. I loved her. I pleaded with her to reconsider, to think about all that she was throwing away. To think about what she would become. She would have none of it. Finally, in frustration, she attacked me. She drew her lightsaber and attempted to strike me down. It was a scene being repeated everywhere throughout the galaxy. Pupil against master. In my case, it was a long and terrible battle, but I defeated her. Oh, a minor domestic issue. No, no. I had her at my mercy, disarmed and defenseless. She looked up at me and she knew. She knew I couldn't do it. Sounds familiar. Seems like the Jedi don't like killing their helpless enemies. I don't think I could have either. You were a fool, but she was a Sith then, right? Now nah, let's go with I don't think I could have either. But I should have. Sometimes I convince myself otherwise, but it's no use. She had fallen to the dark side when she raised her saber against me, and I let her go. To my shame, she went on to kill many Jedi during the war, until she herself was slain in the final battle. I grieved for her death. Inevitable as it was, even as the Jedi Council put me on trial for my actions once the war was over. <laughs> they put you on trial? I had trained Niyama against uh, their wishes. Okay. I had failed to kill her when I had the chance, and she went on to kill others. Not to mention that I had remained a Padawan throughout the war. A formality, perhaps, but with the trial, it had to be decided if I was worthy to become a Jedi at all. It was a travesty, of course. I told you that even the Jedi were capable of great injustices, didn't I? Uh, can't believe they tried you for that. So you think you didn't deserve to be punished? So that's the source of all the bitterness? They found you guilty? I agree with you. They destroyed my mind after all. The Jedi are always fair and merciful. They gave me a second chance. Hmm. All right, let's try towing the company line. But I deserve to be tried. They found me innocent. Even though I oh. deserved every punishment and more, they let me go. Mitigating circumstances, they said. I deserved compassion, they said. They said I had learned wisdom the hard huh. way. For all I had huh. done during the war, they wished to raise me to full Jedi status at long last. That, that was when the Jedi left me. 
That was when they failed me. Um. <laughs> you should have been happy to get off. Uh, I don't understand. No, you deserve the compassion. For my pride? For my cowardice? Which do you think is the act more befitting the Jedi? They may have been able to forgive me. I could never forgive myself. And you still believe love is worth the risk? I... yes. I do, I suppose. Does that surprise you? Uh, it is all so long ago. Lost in the winds, I suppose. Nobody cares what an old man believes anymore, do they? Let's continue on with the task at hand. I would prefer to think of the present today. All right. There we go. All right, let's get this thing fixed. The one purpose for this room, to fix the hyperdrive. <laughs> Click. Done. 1000 XP. All around. Yay. Alright, then let us go ahead and save the game. And this is where I'm going to switch this over to... There we go. There's my button for the credits. Alright, and this is where I get to say thank you all for joining in on this episode of Games Revisited. I hope you enjoyed it. We got the uh, the planet of the Starforge system all set. Um, there, I don't know if we're going to be able to finish up the Starforge itself tom tomorrow, next week, or not. So there is at least one more week, possibly two. Either way, at the end of that, uh, we're going to do a whole episode just on kind of doing a little retrospective of the the season, going over what went well, what we can improve on, that sort of thing. Do try to be live for that one if you can. That way uh, I can get a little feedback from y'all. Uh, things that, things to improve, things to work on, and, and, and all that. So... Uh, with yeah sorry tired the tired's catching up to me and yeah it's about it's about time to it's definitely about time to call it so thank you for joining along hope you enjoyed we do this thursday 6 p.m u.s eastern i also do another show on tuesdays called coffee craft it's a let's play minecraft survival uh, world we are in the process of wrapping up season zero that should wrap up around the end of december uh, that is the current plan at least, and we'll go from there. And if you're watching live, there's a link to the YouTube channel in the description below where I upload all the stream archives and I'm going to have some more stuff going on there in the near future. Uh, the whole helping your parents move thing kind of pushed a lot of plans back a bit. So, um, what I'd hope to have up, I haven't had a chance to even record yet. But uh, that will be coming as well. So if you haven't already, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. Matter of fact, if you haven't already, subscribe on Twitch or Mixer, whichever system it is that you're using to watch these shows. That way you'll get notified when we go live. If you're watching on YouTube, then clearly you know where the YouTube channel is. Subscribe if you haven't already. And down in the description below, I've got links to the Twitch and Mixer channels. Choose your service, uh, your preferred service to watch live. Uh, I simulcast to both of them, and so far, Restreams have been working out pretty well for that. I definitely want to thank them, and I'll talk about my experiences with Restream as part of what I do in the Season 1 wrap up, which will either be the week after next or the week after that, depending on how long it takes us to get through the uh, Star Forge proper. So, um, with all that said and done, thank you, have fun, have a good night.